Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Kwanzaa with me. We've just yeah. lost 3-1 to Man City at the Emirates Stadium. Yeah. Our first defeat this season at the Emirates. And I'm asking everyone this, I'm going to start with just your initial feelings and emotions after that performance. Uh, dejected. Um, really, really feel sad uh, with, with that performance. It mm. wasn't what we originally wanted as Arsenal fans. Yeah. I mean, like the first half, I thought we'd done really well. Yes. I think tactically Arteta had it right. He had it spot on. Mm -hmm. We overloaded. I think they were playing like a 3-5-2. And I think that our build-up play, we was always having one over on the, on the other side or either side with Saka. Uh, I'll talk about Martinelli in a bit. I'll talk about <laughs> him in a bit because obviously we mentioned him in the live. But I just think it's a game of two halves. And yeah. that was an example of the elite coming up against an elite team. Um, and it shows that we're, we still got a long way to go. Mm. Pep has had this team for a long time. This has been more or less a 10-year project. Arteta's taken on Arsenal and he's just building now. We have to give him time and we have to kind of look at it retrospectively in terms of, right, we didn't have Partey there. Gabriel Jesus wasn't starting. Mm -hmm. we, you know, it's, it's one of those things where Jorginho's come in and he played well. Yeah. He played excellent. First half, I thought he was fantastic. Yeah. In fact, one of the best players. players. Of the half. Yeah, 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 definitely. But it's down to individual errors. And I think that was the major problem was, although we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with City, when it comes to the technical ability, they're elite. Mm. We still have discrepancies in our team. Tommy Yasu making that, it was decision-making. It yeah. was down to decision-making. Tommy Yasu made that big, big deci um, that decision to, to go Last back night. in infield. Get it out. Everyone knows. Everyone was probably screaming yeah. it at the Emirates. He knows it himself. I know that. He's done well for us. So I don't want him to get too down in the, in the dumps about it. But and the boys did bounce back. We did. We did. And I, I mentioned it at halftime mm. or just after halftime. I said, look, it's, it's a great show of character, mm. but we can't afford to keep conceding a goal. And then it's like, OK, yeah, now we're going to play. Now we're going to step it up. We need to be on the forefront. And I think you saw that in the second half. Whatever Pep done in terms of... What did he do? That's the thing. That's what... <laughs> I know, listen, we're not tacticians, we're not the managers, yeah. but what did he do? Because it's the first half compared to the second half, yeah, it's completely it felt changed. completely different. But, and yeah. I have to mention, though, we did mention this in, in, in uh, Goon Lee's fan camp yeah. there, that we only had one shot on target. They had six. Yeah. So what, what was the change at half time? Was it a tactical it, thing from Pep or what? You know what? Shout out to... Uh, there's a guy on Twitter, EB, EBL2017. Yeah? He mm. analyses the game to a T. I follow him all the time. So I'm not going to say that these are my words, but... I noticed a change and when I looked at what he said, he said at 1-1, Pep changed it from 3-5-2 to 4-3-3 right. and they played four at the back. And he said with them playing four at the back, that enabled the centre-backs to have more time. Mm. We couldn't press yeah. how he was pressing them in the first half. And it's just those little subtle changes. Obviously him bringing um, off Mares, uh, pushing Bernardo Silva up as well. And I thought Bernardo Silva played well. I thought Diaz was, was a magnet to the yeah. ball. These are the players that you need to step up. It's just unfortunate, but you saw the difference in terms of the two two great managers, or you know, one Arteta, he's learning his craft, but then mm. also it's the master and the apprentice. Yeah. And Pep obviously got the win over it, but it's more or less it's a psychological yeah. advantage now. You said no, it's quick, you say it's a psychological thing, but yeah. how important is Yes, us as fans have that belief that you know we can still go on and do this because you can see you can feel the air around the studio yeah, people are like yeah, yeah. capitulations come in it's yeah. like last season but like I know you're a fan you're like you know very <laughs> optimistic and positive and you know yeah, you see yeah no, and I, I'm, I'm the same so I want to know where do you stand with that do you feel like you, you still have to just you know home set believe we can still do this because the players or you know as Arteta says the connectivity here they need to feel it that we all still believe yeah yeah I, I mean we believe before the game i believed i still be, i still believe but yeah. it's just you're gonna come up against a brick wall you're gonna come up against obstacles and mm. it's how you bounce back as i was saying in the live we're not the only team to lose this season yeah. there's teams that have dropped there's been games from man city to liverpool chelsea and you think yeah that's a shoe and you're gonna clean up and get three points and they've got turned over mm -hmm. so i don't want it to be a thing where we take this as a loss and that's it it's, it's the season's done. You can see what type of season it's going to be. Yes, Man City now have the overall advantage in terms of they clawed it back. Now we're neck and neck. Yes, I, I don't want to get into the whole game. We've got a game in, in hand and whatever. But for me, it's all about making sure that when we go to Villa, we have to have to win. Mm. We have to. And Nketiah has to finish his chances. I really hope he does. But in terms of just quickly touching on Nketiah, People are saying he was poor. He wasn't poor. His movement was good. His hold-up play was good. It was just his finishing. And he needs to finish it. And he knows that. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. 
Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.